Okay, that's right. Okay, go ahead and it's recording. Okay, perfect. So those are actually very, very good answers. <laughs> um, so Maggie Treehouse is written by Mary Pope Osborne, and she wrote a whole series about these siblings going to really fun places. And as you can see, a place with dinosaurs. So it's called Dinosaurs Before Dark. So what kind of dinosaur do you think that is? Any ideas? Okay, Lily, what kind of dinosaur? Dino she says a T-Rex, Lily did. Yeah, looks like it. So do you think they're gonna need a T-Rex? Um, they're shaking their heads no. Most of them are shaking their heads no, and a couple are saying yes. Well, let's hope, let's hope not. <laughs> All righty. The first chapter, it's called Into the Woods. So here's the characters. This is Jack and Annie. Help, a monster, said Annie. Yeah, sure, said Jack, a real monster in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Run, Jack, said Annie. She ran up the road. Oh, brother, said Jack. This is what he got for spending the time with his seven-year-old sister. How many of you guys have to spend time with your younger siblings? Um, two people raised their hands that they, Jason and Zayan, spend time with younger siblings. Oh, can it be annoying sometimes? <laughs> Rebecca has a younger sibling also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I know how that feels. <laughs> well, Annie loved to pretend stuff, but Jack was eight and a half. He liked real things. Watch out, Jack. The monster's coming, said Annie. But Jack didn't say anything. Come on, Jack, I'll race you, said Annie. Um, no thanks, said Jack. Annie raced alone into the woods. Jack looked at the sky. The sun was about to set. Come on, Annie, it's time to go home, said Jack. But Annie didn't answer. Jack waited. Annie, he called again. Jack, Jack, she shouted, come here, quick. Jack groaned, this better be good. Jack left the road and headed into the woods. Oof. The trees were lit with a golden late afternoon light. Over here, called Annie. Annie was standing under a tall oak tree. Look, she pointed at a rope ladder. Now, what do you think was in that tree? Any ideas what you think might be in that tree? Um, Liberty? Maybe something that transports them to dinosaurs. And Cade? A dinosaur in the tree. And a dinosaur. Okay, good ideas. Wow, Jack whispered. At the top of the tree was a tree house stuck between two branches. This must be the highest tree house in the world, said Annie. Well, who built it, asked Jack. I've never seen it before. I don't know, but I'm going up, said Annie. No, we don't know who it belongs to, said Jack. Just for a teeny minute, said Annie. She started up the ladder. Annie, come back, said Jack, but Annie just kept climbing. She climbed all the way up to the tallest branches. And here, the picture of that tree house. Ooh, cool. Super tall. Jack sighed, Annie, it's almost dark. We really have to go home. But Annie disappeared inside of the tree house. Annie, Jack called. Jack waited a moment. He was about to call again when Annie poked her head out of the treehouse window. Books, Annie shouted. What, Jack said. It's filled with books, said Annie. Oh man, Jack thought. He loved books. Jack pushed his glasses into place and gripped the sides of the rope ladder and started up. Now who else would find would climb a treehouse just to read a bunch of books? Who loves books? Um, Lily raised her hand and Liberty raised their hand. Yay. Nobody else raised their hand. <laughs> okay. So two book left. So what kind of books do you think are up there? What kind of books do you think are going to be in that treehouse, guys? Liberty? Books to explore with, like dinosaur and animal books. And then Lily? Learning books, things to learn more things about. Okay, those are very good answers. We're about to find out. 
So chapter two, the monster. Jack crawled into the treehouse. Wow, he said. The treehouse was filled with books. Books were everywhere. Very old books with dusty covers and new books with shiny bright covers. Look, said Annie, you can see far away. She was peering out of the treehouse window. Jack looked out the window with her. Below were the tops of other trees. In the distance, he could see the Frog Creek Elementary and the library. Annie pointed in the other direction. That's our house, she said. Annie was right. Jack could see their white wooden house with its green porch. In the yard next to the door was the neighbor's black dog, Henry. He looked very tiny. Now, do any of you guys have a dog? Uh, Jason and Liberty and Lily all have dogs. Mm -hmm. So this dog's name is Henry. Hi, Henry, shouted Annie. Shush, we're not supposed to be up here, said Jack. Jack glanced around the treehouse again. He noticed that bookmarks were sticking out of many of the books. I wonder who owns all these, I wonder who owns all these books, he said. I like this one, Annie said. She picked up a book with a castle on the cover. Here's a book about Pennsylvania, said Jack. This is where they live. He pointed to the page with the bookmark. Hey, here's a picture of Frog Creek, said Jack. It's a picture of these woods. Oh, here's a book for you, said Annie. She held up a book about dinosaurs. A blue silk bookmark was sticking out of it. So was it Liberty who said dinosaurs? Yes, it was Liberty. Yep, good guess, good guess. <laughs> Let me see, said Jack. He set his backpack down on the floor and grabbed the book from Annie. Okay, you look at the other ones. I'll look for, at the one about Castle, said Annie. No, we better not, said Jack. We don't know who these books even belong to. But even as he said this, Jack was opening the dinosaur book to the place where the bookmark was. He just couldn't help himself. Jack turned to a picture of an ancient flying reptile. He recognized it as a pteranodon. He touched the huge bat-like wings on the picture. Wow, whispered Jack. I wish we could go to the time of the pteranodons. Now, what do you think is going to happen with that? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Liberty? They're going to travel to the dinosaurs. Lily, something else? Maybe like a shooting star when he made his wish because it was at nighttime and it made his wish come true. Ooh, good guesses. Those are really good guesses. Jack studied the picture of the odd looking creature soaring through the sky. Suddenly Annie screamed. What, said Jack? A monster, Annie cried. She pointed out the treehouse window. Stop pretending, Annie, said Jack. No, really, said Annie. Jack looked out the window. A giant creature was gliding above the treetops. It had a long, weird crest on the back of its head, a shiny beak, and huge bat-like wings. So what do you think that was, guys? Zion? Zion said a pterodactyl. Good guess, yes. The, in the book, he's a pteranodon, but yes, they're very similar. So that's this guy. It was a real live pteranodon, very similar to a pterodactyl. The creature swooped through the sky. It looked like a glider plane. It was coming straight towards the treehouse. Get down, cried Annie. Jack and Annie crouched on the floor. Then the wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. And then everything was still, absolutely still. So what do you think happened? <laughs> Jason, what do you think happened when everything went still? I'm sorry? It stopped spinning, Jason thinks. Kate, what do you think happened when everything went still? Kate's not sure. Zayanne, what do you think? The animal landed on top of it. And um, Lily, what do you think? Um, Lily thinks they traveled from the past back to where they were. And Liberty, you wanna not take a guess? <laughs> yeah, Liberty read this book before, so she's being very careful with her wording. Okay, good job, Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, tell us back. 
So it seems like, and I can't tell you 100%, but it seems like they traveled somewhere. Where do you think he, where do you think they went? So they're going to travel somewhere. So where do you think they're going to go? Diane? Diane, Diane said to dinosaur land. <laughs> Jason, where do you think? Jason's not sure. Cade, what do you think? Cade's not sure either. And Lily? To the time of the dinosaurs. All right. So chapter three is where is here? So all of your guys' questions. Jack opened his eyes. Sunlight slanted through the window. Treehouse was still high in the tree, but it wasn't the same tree. Where are we, said Annie. She and Jack looked out the window. The pteranodon was soaring through the sky. The ground was covered with ferns and tall grass. There was a winding stream, a sloping hill, and a volcano in the distance. I, I don't know where we are, said Jack. The pteranodon glided down to the base of the trees. It landed on the ground and stood very still. So what just happened to us, said Annie. Well, said Jack, I was looking at the picture book and, oh, and you said, wow, I wish we could go to the time of the pteranodon, said Annie. Yeah, and then we saw pteranodon in the Fog Creek woods, said Jack. Yes, and the wind got loud and the treehouse started spinning, said Annie. And we landed here, said Jack. And we landed here, said Annie. So that means, so that means what, said Annie? I don't know, said Jack. None of this can be real. Annie looked out the window again, but he's real. He's very real. So let's get another guess. Where do you guys think he went? No answer, Liberty, because you already know. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you think they're at now? Lily? Lily said to the time of the dinosaurs. Any other ideas? Nope, no other ideas. Okay. That's all good. That's a good, that's a really good answer. So Jack went out of, went out to the window with her again. The Tyrannodon was standing at the base of the tree like a guard, whose giant wings were spread out on either side of them. Hi, Annie shouted. Shh, said Jack. We're not supposed to be here. But where is he? Said Annie. I don't know, said Jack. Hi, how are you? Annie called to the Tyrannodon. The creature just looked at her. Are you nuts? He can't talk, said Jack but maybe the book can tell us. Jack looked down at the book. He read the words under the picture. This flying reptile lived in the Cretaceous period. It vanished with the other dinosaurs. So they vanished, but how are they there? And here is Annie climbing down the treehouse. That's impossible, said Jack. We can't have gone to the time that many years ago. Jack, said Annie, he's nice. Nice, said Jack. Yeah, I can tell, said Annie. Let's go down to him. Go down, said Jack. Annie started down the rope ladder. Hey, come back, said Jack, but Annie kept going. Annie, wait, Jack called. Annie dropped to the ground. She stepped boldly up to the giant creature. Now, you think the giant creature hurt her? Or did she pet him? What do you think happened? What do you think is going to happen? Now, Damien has joined us. Damien, what do you think is going to happen? Go oh, hi, Damien. He said he thinks Annie's going to climb on top of that dinosaur and fly away. And Lily, what do you think? She said she thinks the brother's going to come down and jump on the dinosaur. Now, what would you guys do if you met a giant pteranodon? What would you do? Jason, what would you do? Jason's not sure. Kate, what would you do? Would you ride it or would you run? Kate said he'd run. <laughs> what would you do, Zion? Zion would run. Damien, what would you do? Damien said he'd climb on top of it and make it a friend. And Liberty, what would you do? Liberty said she'd try to tame it. And Jason? Jason said she, he'd ride it. And Lily, what would you do?
She said, it's kind of like a cat, a, a new cat. You got to be, be patient and let it come to you and learn a, more about it. So. Are you a veterinarian or a zookeeper? Because that's a very good way to treat an animal. <laughs> <laughs> she said they have a lot of cats. <laughs> oh, yes, that would make sense. <laughs> Six cats. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot of litter boxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys there. No way, you're not gonna finish the story? No, I need you guys to finish it. You guys need to find out what happened. Oh, cliffhanger, cliffhanger. that's what Lily said. Oh my <laughs> gosh. And now, Rebecca, can you remind us the name of the book? Cause I'll write it on the board so that they can get it. Oh yes. This is a magic treehouse book. It's called Dinosaurs Before Dark. Dinosaurs Before Dark. Okay. Uh, he said, Damien said, we can see Jack on it. So now we kind of know an answer too. Oh, yes. Context clues. Context clues. Very, very good. Absolutely. Jason? Any running. <laughs> Jason said that his aunt has at least 25 cats. 25. Oh my goodness, that's more than what's in your room right now. That's more than what's in your room. <laughs> that's a lot of cats. Yes. So Becca, do you have a moment where I can have each one come up to my computer and just say hi to you so you can hear their voices? Oh, sure. Okay. So Kate, do you want to come up? Do you want to say anything to her? Okay, and just talk so she can hear you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, I have one dog too. <laughs> one dog. Yes. Yeah, like, like little Henry, huh? I'm Lily. Hi, Lily. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'm Jason. Hi, Jason. Hi, I'm Liberty. Hi, Liberty. So you've read this book before. <laughs> yes, I have. Do you like dinosaurs? Yes. Yeah, me too. Hi, I'm Zyan. Hi, Zyan. I like your name. Thank you. <laughs> Rebecca, we're going to let you go, and I will um, send you the recording for your teacher, okay? Perfect. And thank you very, very much. You got them interested in this book, and I'm going to write it on the board, so in case they want to um, check it out from the public library. And we actually have access to um, an online version of the public library called Access 360. Ooh. Isn't that cool? That's nice. <laughs> and then um, we have a school library. Um, but the librarian brings certain books to us. So um, I can always ask her to put that book in the selection for our class so that um, one of them could take that book out too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, okay. Thank you very, very much. We, we all thank you. You're awesome. You're going to make a great teacher. Thank you. Love you, my dear. Bye. They're saying bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>